I've been learning lately about resiliency, and I want to share with you what I've been learning. It's a tool that's called the Community Resiliency Model, and it's created by the Trauma Resource Institute. This is a tool that's brought all over the world, and part of why it is effective in all these different cultures with all these different people who have been through a whole range of experiences is because this approach, this tool is really designed based on the way the human brain works. And so it's not particular to a, a particular culture or a particular religion for sure. It is all about how the brain works under stress and trauma even. So what this work talks about is the difference between our sympathetic nervous system and our parasympathetic nervous system. So our sympathetic nervous system is what we use when we are under great stress, when we are, this is fight or flight, flee, befriend. This is when adrenaline is pumping through our body and we are ready to act to protect ourselves and save ourselves. So the parasympathetic nervous system is what's happening, the part of our brain that's active when we have a sense of calm and well-being. So what they talk about is that there's this zone of resiliency, and that's where most of us live most of our days. You know, there's joys and there's sorrows and there's anger and frustration and love and happiness and the whole range of, you know, what happens in a, in a day. Um, and the idea is that this zone of resiliency, we can get bumped out when something happens, something stressful, traumatizing even. We can get bumped out into the high zone or the low zone. When we're bumped into the high zone, there's angry outbursts, irritation, frustration. When we're bumped into the low zone, it's depression, numbness burnt out. And this happens, you know, in human life, stressful things happen. We get bumped up, we get bumped down. But for most of us, we can return to this, this zone of resiliency. Now, the challenge happens when, when we get bumped into the high zone or the low zone and we get stuck there. We don't know how to get out. We are, are stuck in irritation or anger or we're stuck in this depression and, and uh, numbness. So we start with, with tracking, with just seeing what's happening. You know, when you're in this stressful situation, what is happening? What's, how is your breathing? What's your heart rate like? Are you, are you sweating? Whatever stands out as something that's happening inside, okay? You bring your focus to your physical being. What's happening when you're that stressed? And then the other piece is having a resource. And what I think the genius of this is that every resource is going to be different for different people. What's a resource for me is going to be different than a resource for you. So a resource is very simply, it's something that helps you feel good. It's something that when you remember this resource, you are automatically filled with love and joy and peace. You're just, you're right there. So this could be a person. This could be a place that you remember. It could be a pet or it could be a spiritual belief. It could be faith. So for me, I remember this place when I was a kid. I would go to this field, and I would go there early in the morning and watch the sunrise. And, you know, all these decades later, when I think of that place, I, I cannot worry, I cannot be stressed out and remember that field where I prayed when I was young and felt so at peace and and safe. So one of my favorite stories with this is there's a, a veteran who was learning this community resiliency model and he, you know, he was somebody who was dealing with quite a bit of post-traumatic stress. And so his his strategy about this was to really only go out um, to stores later in the evening when there were going to be less people there. And he was standing in line and uh, asked for a military discount, and the cashier didn't know anything about the military discount, and usually that would have been trigger enough for him to lose his temper, and you know the best case scenario would be that he'd just walk out of the store and have to come back another night and leave all of his shopping behind. Uh, but what happened after he learned this tool was he, he 
noticed his breathing change. He thought of his granddaughter, which is just an immediate resource for him for love and joy. And he leaned against the counter. He just put his weight into the counter. So this grounding, so simple, just leaning against wherever you are. For me, just sitting in this chair, just feeling where my body touches the chair, just feeling my weight in the chair. If you're standing, feeling your weight in your feet. could be leaning against a wall. Um, you know, if you have the time and the space, it could be lying on the ground. It could be floating in water. I mean, there's lots of ways that people experience this groundedness. But it could be as simple as leaning against a counter in a store. This, this community resiliency model is all about being able to be your best self in times of stress.